Load it up. Seal the deal. And finally, let's send it off. Toodaloo, my dude. It's time to see what fun stuff we have in store in tier seven. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Satisfactory. Where last time we started the systematic exploitation of the planet and scooped up and industrialized this entire area of the map. And immediately after that, I went on break, but now we are back, brother. And now we're gonna be getting into the final tiers available in the game. And that will be tiers seven and eight. So we're gonna need all of these versatile frameworks, modular engines, and adaptive control units. Plus, we're gonna need you to leave a like. But then right after that, we can start looking into nuclear energy, alclad sheets, aluminum, and all the jazz. But first off, we need those materials to actually send up the space elevator. I'm sure we have most things, it's just we have to put them together now. So, modular engines, what's up with you? Motors, rubber, smart plating, oh boy. Smart plating, what's up with you? It's been a while, friend. Reinforced plates, rotors, plastic? Is that an alternate? There's an alternate? Okay. But then after that, yeah. Easily done, we can do that. Uh, adaptive control units, automated wiring, oh no. Circuit boards, oh no. Let me watch. Those are pretty spicy, not gonna lie. Pretty dang spicy. Automated wire, not a fun time. Stators, not a fun time. High speed connectors, a hyper not fun time. 187.5 wire per minute. Yes. Then the final thing is just the versatile framework here. And yeah, modular frame, steel beam, rubber. All of these seem pretty dang spicy, but we're not gonna be like automating these like permanently because we only ever need like a chunk of these items at once. <laughs> and we're gonna need all of these items for making turbo motors in the future. So that means we're just gonna stockpile and build these really quick and then rock and roll. So getting this party started, let's make ourselves some flexible frameworks, since we need like a billion of them. Then we get started on some smart plating so that we can make some modular engines. And same deal for that automated wire because we gotta make ourselves those computers of the adaptive control variety. Then once we finish up with those versatile frameworks, guess what brother? It's time to load everything into the space elevator and ascend to tiers seven and eight. So, the framework, boom. Modular engines, bap. And finally, the adaptive control units. Whoa, brother, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Load it up, seal the deal. And finally, Let's send it off. My goodness, it has been hundreds of hours since we have sent the last space elevator shipment. And off it goes. Toodaloo, my dude. It's time to see what fun stuff we have in store in tier seven. Oh man, oh man, oh man. What are we dealing with now? Oh, a new mod that I'll talk about soon.tm. But more importantly, tier seven. Bauxite, aluminum, hazmat suits, nuclear power, and those hyper boosters, but again, later. Bauxite, what's the deal? No. No! <laughs> ah, 50,000 more refineries! Oh boy, scanner update for quartz? <laughs> um, you get that in tier seven now? Or at least that's when it's, you can scan for it? That's insane, dude. We literally, wow, wow. Okay, so the ma'am really, let's see, kind of move past that real quick. Of course, bauxite, the Mark V conveyor belts, alclad sheets, now what's that? Aluminum scrap. Aluminum scrap is pure aluminum refined from alumina? Can be smelted down to aluminum ingots for industrial usage. Okay. So you make this dissolved alumina extract from bauxite. You take the bauxite, 
I guess you put it in a refinery to make the solution. The solution turns into the scrap, and the scrap turns to the ingot? Bruh. It used to just go from, like, bauxite to, like, a foundry to make the ingot, and then you just make the sheet with, like, some extra copper. So, this is all just, like, cursed now. Okay. That's, that's fine. Smile. Advanced aluminum production. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude, the turbo motors look so much better now. Wow. Dude, back in the day, they used to look just like the motors, except they changed the color of them. <laughs> so those are a lot better. Well, anything would have been better. Mark three miners, so we can double all of our mining rates. Mm. The hazmat suit, all is good there, all is the same. Nuclear power. Oh, boy. You better believe we're getting into this soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Resource can shop consumption will automatically be lowered to meet power demand, of course. Oh yes, and they changed the design now because, ah, it needs a liquid. Is it this, no, what? Wait, sulfuric acid? Liquid mostly used to extract elements from ore. Sulfur? To make sulfuric acid? But we're using all of our sulfur to make turbo fuel. Wait, we might have oofed ourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, that could be really bad. Now uranium pellets. I think is that new or is that old? I'm not sure. I think that's. I don't know. I don't know. How's this all go now? Well, wait a second now. Sulfuric acid probably has to be used with uranium to like make the pellets, I assume? That's like the dealio. And then the nuclear power plant, well, there's the pipe entrance into that, so it probably just needs water. Yeah, because nu real nuclear power plants, they like, need an insane amount of water, so yeah, that, okay, that, that all makes sense. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, They're, I'm kind of overwhelmed. Where do we begin? I don't, I, uh, I'm just like blown away. Well, we can't start here. Don't need to bother with that. I guess we start looking into the bauxite refinement. So let's just get all the parts we need for that. And Ida, please give us the lowdown on what's going on here. So a launch. Bauxite unlocked, goodbye. Milestone reached. Brendo. Ports and bauxite scanning unlocked. A new generation of basic aluminum parts is now available, which can be constructed from bauxite after a complex process of refinement. Additionally, improved conveyor belts and lifts can now be constructed. Complex process of refinement? Hmm. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Yes. I love complex processes of refinement. It's not like I haven't built 30,000 refineries already. Let's just go down here. You know what? We're gonna just kind of dive through what's rocking and rolling. You can go here. You can go to there. Alrighty. So down the list of greatness we go. Where it stops, apparently it's right here. Okay. So, alumina solution. Okay. Dissolved alumina extract from bauxite can further be refined into pure aluminum. Yes. Cool. So, bauxite and water. And it makes 80 fluid per minute and 20 parts per minute. Oh, oh, okay. That's interesting. It makes silica. That's really, really good because silica is kind of like a limited resource because you need quartz for that. Usually, but now it's like just a byproduct. But it's like a super useful byproduct. And 100 water per minute. Seems like a lot, but no, 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 no. You know, these, these numbers are actually really, really good. Because we need so much bauxite per minute and so much water per minute, that means we don't need to build like 50,000 refineries in order to process all this stuff. Because we get 80 fluids per minute here. How do we go to the scrap arena? <gasps> okay, so we need three... Oh, okay, hold up. 240 aluminum solution per minute. So that means we need three of these bad boys going for every one aluminum scrap thing. 
We get a ton of scrap and we get water back from this. Okay. Super oh my god, this is so weird. Okay, 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 okay. We get the scrap. We get the scrap. Just relax. Look at the scrap. And then what do we do with the scrap now? I'm gonna presume we put that through a foundry, like an update too. Yes? You better believe it. Oh, okay. So then the scrap is used with silica to make ingots. Okay, and 240 scrap per minute. Make 360 scrap per minute. Nothing's easy! <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, no, 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 no. 240 minus, or 360 minus 240 is 120. Okay, so that works out. We need three of these running then to make an efficient thing of this. Silica, I don't even want to look at. With the aluminum per minute, we get 80 parts per minute. And then of course, the thing we want to do with aluminum is make those outclad sheets. Ah oh, yes, and this is the same. And they take 60 ingots and the copper ingots. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this meme? So wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. So all in here. Oh my freaking goodness. We have to go from this. We get the bauxite and the water to make the solution. The solution with petroleum coke to make the scrap, the scrap to the ingot the ingot to the sheets and not only that but oh my gosh we get water back from this so parts of this system will re-enter into here and then we have petroleum coke so we have to mess with oil in all of this dude 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 <laughs> i already thought oil was complex it was nothing it was the precursor to the truest meme! Wait, is this even the truest meme? What's going on with nuclear? Oh no. It can't be any worse, right? Like, it, it has to be just simple-ish. Please? Yes? Nuclear? Okay. Alright, so we'll just gather the stuff, we'll wait for the pod to return, then we will look into this. There we go, and now we can take a gander into these nightmares, oh boy! <laughs> I'm very excited. Nuclear is a blast! Oh, well, actually, hopefully it won't be. Let's check it out! Nuclear power! Milestone reached. With the provided buildings and parts, you can now set up nuclear power generation, which balances an increase of fuel production complexity with improved power output. Uranium scanning unlocked. Oh boy! Note, this method of power generation creates nuclear waste. Tricks on you! I want nuclear waste! Also, I want nuclear power! What's going on here? Da -da -da. Super computers! We have a couple of those lying around, right? Oh, you better believe we do! But we need two more. You know what, we're probably just gonna need a lot more because we're gonna be going pretty crazy with nuclear and we'll need a little buffer to get started. So temporarily, I'm just gonna switch up one of our machines here and convert it to make ourselves a couple super computers to use in the meantime. Mm, our first produced super computer. Ah, I can't wait till we actually get this automated though and don't just hand feed machines. But it's a nice little milestone for now. Anyway though, we should have enough for a nuclear reactor, correct? How you build? Ah yes, some high speed connector boys. Well, sorry supercomputers, but... <laughs> we are just gonna be taking that. And seeing what's going on. So, these things, the big things. The nuclear reactor big kind of deal. So, let's just put you down here. Ah, oh, that looks way different. Oh, because that's the back. Oh, there's a ladder up the back now. Hey. So now I can stand in uh, the steam? It's just steam at the top of the nuclear reactors, right? Pretty sure. Well, that's pretty nice, though. 
Any other changes with this? No, it's looking about the same. Front has a little balcony, middle's looking a little, little tiny bit different. And then of course, mm, water input. All right, how much water? Oh, oh, mm, mm, mm. that's a lot of water. 300 water per minute, in fact. Oh, that's a full pipe. Wow, wait, what? Can 300 per minute? Oh my God, ah. That's so much water, dude. <laughs> like, I I know, like, in real life, they need so much water, but, like, oh my gosh. We'd have to get, like, so much, we'd have to get, no, not so much. We need, like, all the water from down here. Just hundreds of water extractors. Pipelines like this will look like child's play compared to the pipelines we need for nuclear. Okay, that's probably the worst of it though, right? Like now, when we start to look into how to produce the nuclear stuff, it's not gonna be a big deal. Correct? Yeah, of course that's correct. So that just takes concrete, uranium pellets, no biggie. This takes AI limiters and stators. Pretty sure that's the same as like update two. That's not super spooky. What else do we need? Wait, where's the other thing? The pellets. We need like the raw uranium pellet things, right? Hello? What if we look up uranium? Uranium, yeah, these, these. How do you make them? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, hey, refineries? No, 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 no. Oh yeah, the surfactant sulfuric acid. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yes, the party never stops. Oh, you make the pellets in this now. Ah, yes, and this takes sulfur. That's omega hyper bad. So we might have to switch up our entire power grid now. Uh, uranium pellets. What's going on here? Uranium, the acid. I'll be real here. I think we're gonna have to wait on uranium for a long time because we're gonna have to pretty much switch over our entire power grid. It depends on how much sulfur we really need. Yikes. Okay, we kind of know where we're going, but we kind of don't, because now we have all these new recipes unlocked, we can start going through hard drives again. Meaning, <laughs> to really figure things out, we need to go on a hard drive hunt. But I've already kind of been around the world looking for hard drives, except for one special place the red forest so you know what that means oh we need yes yes we need you the blap blap the breathing machine probably a detonator could help and then we're going to need a absolute ton of biomass because we're gonna make the biomass burners to have the electricity in the drop pods so we can unlock it yes all right we ready to rock and roll? Anything I'm forgetting? Oh yes, we do have, doodly 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 do, the rocket launcher mod. However, it's very OP, and I wanna keep things a little spicy. So we're not gonna bring it along right now. You wanna give the nature at least a little bit of a fighting chance. You know what I mean? But all right, it's time for our adventure to begin. So, uh, Thank you past me for planning ahead for things, but we already have a train track that pretty much is gonna be going up to the Red Forest. So right next to our processing area, over about here, we have ourselves a nice ramp that will go directly into the Red Forest. So through this little biome and right up to about here. And from there, we'll gather the bauxite, we'll do whatever we need, and everything will be happy, happy, happy. And before we do, did we ever grab the drop pods in this biome? I can't remember, it was so long ago, like early on in our playthrough, we just got as many drop pods as we possibly could have, but I don't know if we got them all. So we got this one, and I think there's one more over this way. I just, I just wanna double check. Oh, and there's that one up there. What the heck, there's so many drop pods everywhere. All right, well, some promising news. There's still some farty boys up here, and it seems to be pretty busy. 
So I'm thinking maybe I forgot this one. Oh, you're a you're a big boy. A big boy. Hey. No. Oh, what the heck? You're alive. No. Oh. All right, though. Are you opened? You are not opened. Oh boy. First hard drive I get. Thank you very much. Okay, let's check the last one in this biome. It's just over in the old Lake Arena. And hopefully I forgot that one as well. Knowing past me, I probably did too because holy, would I not want to have dealt with all of these flies. All right, let's get them, let's get them. Yep, I am prepared, I'm ready. Just gonna keep on whacking, keep on whacking. Is that it? No. No! <laughs> There's always one more. All right. And it was entirely pointless. I love this. <laughs> Alrighty, but now let's get into the red forest. And we're gonna make things even more spicy as well. So, to help me record, I have a mod that's called the Permanent Mod, and it allows me to control time and I usually just have it permanently on day. However, we can also make it permanently night. And we're gonna be keeping the fog on as well, so it's hard to see and keep things uh, spooky. So let's heal up and let's begin our little adventure. I guess we'll pick up slugs on the way too. And also, just take a quick little peek around. There are a few drop pods in higher places, and also, oh hey, nuclear rocks. And also, one second, uh, things may have changed in the game, so that, oh gosh, this is not good. Uh, things may have changed in the game, so that there are new drop pods, or drop pod requirements have changed, stuff of this nature, which could be real bad or entirely different locations for drop pods, although I don't know. I haven't really looked through this biome since update three, so it's gonna be spooky. This radiation stuff though, brother, not a good time. There we go, nice flip. Give me, no, no it wasn't pressing E, dude. We're done, sluggo. Is not enough space for it. Aha, the mystery has been discovered. There we go. And the sluggo is mine. Not what I'm looking for, but you know what? We gotta take him when we can get him. All right, heal back up. Let's continue scooting. Aha, but finally, a drop pod. My man. Oh my freaking gosh. Okay, you know what? We're doing the strat. Here's the strat, guys. What you do is you break the little hives so they all scurry around. Once they're all scurrying, you carpet bomb them. That is how you play the game. You just have to kind of aim a little bit. There we go, you see that? That's how it's done. No more flying around and messing around with these guys. Na na na. Na 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 na. And like in five seconds, the whole party's already over. Just a little bit of spicy rocks around, but that's all right because we got what we came for and we are ouchia. All right though, but now we have the gas to deal with and we can't use our precious, precious jetpack. Oh my gosh, so we're slowing in the spooky zone. There's three of them? Dude, in the ga- ah, in the gas. Bruh. Maybe we should have brought the rocket launcher. This place is not fun. They made the, this is the hyper unfun. All right, one down. All right, two down. Ooh, where's the last one? We got him now, boys. Hello? Where'd he go? Did he run? 99% sure he ran. Yes, no, I'm not seeing him. Do we dare try and open the drop pod right now? I dare. 267 megawatts, what? This is why we have diddly 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 biomass burners. Thank you, give. All right, everything come with me. 
We've wasted all of our gas filters, and the rest of the adventure is gonna be much more spooky now. Let us continue to the next one. Wow, it's literally right there. Convenient. Ah, there's no gas, but there's only nuclear stuff. Meaning, we all know what's gonna happen. Ah, there they are. It's gonna be the boys. All right, victory is ours. Let's clear out our inventory. I'm seeing some spicy stuff down there. This is a good opportunity to grab some heat sinks. Maybe a couple of turbo motors, who knows, man. Oh, that's a radio control unit. Yo, super good stuff. I'm trying to find things for like research in the MAM. Maybe we unlock new things to check out. Don't know. But it's looking like we're clear. Let's just open it up, please. Oh, <laughs> speaking of turbo motors, we need turbo motors for this one. Okay, well, being there, done that. No turbo motors for now, brother. So let's continue to scoot. Okay, okay, okay. Turbo motors again? Dude, dude, dude. Okay, and there are all the enemies. Very nice. Please tell me there are at least some radio control units. Heat sinks, I take them. Okay, cool. Not getting a lot of hard drives here, not gonna lie. There's no evil around. 112 megawatts, all right, cool, cool. At least we're getting some. Somehow there's no enemies around. You know what? Why am I complaining? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Just late to the party. Well, too bad for you, because the party is already over. Thank you very much. And that pretty much brings us to where we began. All right, well then, there's no other reason not to go deeper into the woods. Because mm. mm. the deeper we go, the more spiders there are. The more spiders there are, the more spook it gets. I saw something. Where'd it go? I hate that. I hate it when you see something and then it's just gone. They're too quick. Actually, no. You know what's worse? When you hear something and you can't see it. That's what's worse. Always worse. Ha! Hello. What is up, sir? Where'd he go? What? Speaks man spiff trying to hide in the trees. There are no trees. I'm the trees. Oh, and hello, hello, hello. Aren't you hidden right in the bushes? Oh, with so many friends indeed. Why are the hogs so attracted to these? Like, my dudes. Not very interesting stuff here. Ah, well, that's pretty interesting. Crystal oscillators? Hmm. Out of all the things, I always have crystal oscillators on me. What a shame. Ooh, and we got another one. Got some stink in here too. Some baddies scooting around too. He's done. Lude child, please do not be here. Thank you. Come on, come on, hide behind the tree. We're, we're safe behind the tree. <laughs> we're not safe anywhere. 420 megawatts, dude, what? I can't biomass that. How many would that be? What's 420 divided by 30? That's a lot. It's too many. I'm not screwing around with that. We're gonna have to get like a train up here or something. All right. Good meme, dude. Good meme. Okay, so yeah. Back at base now. I went back and forth with the crystal oscillators and got that one really quick. So end of the day, we managed to get doodly doodly do six hard drives. So that should be the rest of the alternate recipes in the game. I don't think there's gonna be a lot of new ones for Tier 7. At least there weren't an update too. We also got 10 purple power slugs, which is actually like huge. That's 50 power shards. We got six yellow ones and two green ones, so quite the freaking haul, brother. Now we just have two things to do. Number one, return the sun to the sky. Beautiful. And now we go to the ma'am, because we got some hard drives to burn through, brother. So let's see what we managed to get. Scannerino Cappuccino. I'll organize my inventory while this runs and we'll see what happens. So it's been about 10 minutes now and I think our hard drive is properly cooked. And you know what? I realized something. 
That whole red forest trip was pretty calm. And you know why? We never ran into any of the gas spiders, so I don't know if they were removed them or made them like super rare, but there are spiders that like fart out like a huge cloud of like poisonous gas and they make it like super super bad because you can't run near them and you can't zone them well and it's like yeah really different so I don't know if they're still in the game I hope they come back they're pretty neat but hey <laughs> it was a nice trip for us so we'll take it anyway what are we dealing with here charcoal yes high speed connector with silica you know I think do we actually want that? Now that we know we can get silica from like bauxite, it's not as like omega rare anymore. So maybe we do. And then this, a nuclear fuel unit. Uh huh. Well, that uses the crystal oscillators. What's the original recipe of this? It's just encased beams? That's one where you'd have to do the math on to like figure out like how much more efficient that is. Uh, the main thing in, at least in nuclear, is you want to use as little uranium as possible per fuel rod because uranium is like the rarest resource in the game so we'll look into that soon.tm and I think we will get to this first yes and let's see what else is new Ooh, look at that look at that pure aluminum ingot now wait how is the normal one? Oh, it takes silica. Oh, I see. You get less aluminum though for the scrap. Hmm. So I can imagine like if we're setting up our factory like for aluminum ingots, we'll probably use this recipe and the default recipe. Unless there's like another variable. I don't know. This one's really cool though. I like it. Let's scoop it up and then scan another one. Oh, this is so much fun. You see normal people get loot boxes and they want like a special skin or something. You see I want loot boxes though, and that can give me the possibility to make a more efficient factory. That is the real goal with loot boxes, man. The real one. Unless you actually have to pay for them. Anyway though, no stuff to see. What do we have here, brother? All right, another uranium one, okay. Uh, high-speed connectors that use the silica. Well, now that we know we can get the silica, that is pretty dang spicy compared to our alternative, which uses a lot of copper, an unholy amount of copper. Let's check it out. These nuclear ones we'll see soon. Okay, so high-speed connector, get, scan another one, and I actually really want to just quickly check that out. So the alternate actually uh, takes 37.5 silica per minute. That is really, really, really good. Really good. That's not a lot. And then 90 quick fire per minute. That is not bad at all compared to the original. Look at this. Even for the quick fire we're saving, that's huge, dude. 210 per minute down to 90 per minute. But yeah, I'm really considering using this alternate when we get to like super computers because man, the amount of quick wire we're gonna save. And for now, we have another hard drive. Oh no, well, well, welly, well, well, well. Electrum aluminum scrap, where the standard goes from four to six aluminum scrap. So I think we'd use this one. That's really good. Thank you very much. Let's scan another hard drive. And we'll see what's going on here. We might actually need more hard drives. Yeah, like I'm thinking we might not have every hard drive. We might have to go on another little adventure to get the rest of the nuclear alternate recipes. Cause yeah, I was only considering like the aluminum stuff right now, but uh, I might have goofed it there. I don't know. What do we got? Charcoal garbage. This one, Omega super garbage. And a nuclear one. Okay, so I guess we'll see with our last hard drive if we're done or not. And uh, is the party over? No. Okay, so there are quite a few more recipes here, because, yeah, I, I haven't seen this one. Or at least I haven't for a long time, but it uses uh, rubber to make the modular frames. Okay. So there's still a couple nuclear ones lurking about, and there's a couple of these, like, terribly awful ones as well. So let's just grab this one. Call it a day, and we'll have to go on another hard drive hunt once we get into nuclear. However, though, 
I don't know exactly where we're going now. I have to review all of the numbers and see what the heck to do. So for today, that is gonna be all. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching, but have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye <laughs>